Hey beautiful friends, Ami here. Just wanted to make a uh, little video about the Law of Attraction and why I believe it's a false path and a path that just uh, postpones what we're really here to do. I don't believe that we're here to attract things and um, well, I think that is a byproduct of um, clearing your consciousness cleansing your impurities and becoming more centered in your heart in uh, releasing yourself. I believe that um, the law of attraction is a red herring created by possibly the elites who are creating all these wars and all the manipulation that's on television. I believe it's 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 uh, a distraction from what we really need to do, which is realize peace and realize our nature. Because when we get caught up in attracting abundance, attracting things into our life, attracting people, attracting our twin flame or whatever it might be, attracting new lovers, prosperity, we're still focused on, on the material world. We're not um, focusing on uh, impermanence. We're trying to get new things, We're trying to create more permanence, We're trying to build up self and build up, build up um, all of our belongings and achievements. And I really believe that renunciation is the way. It doesn't mean you have to give everything up, but um, it doesn't mean you can't, you know, want uh, to live in a decent house and have a car that works or whatever. But I really think um, striving and trying to attract new things is really not the way. When we have 27,000 children dying every day of hunger, and we're concerning ourselves with, um, a, you know, attracting a new home, a, you know, uh, a new car or a new job, when we already have a job, when we really should just learn to be happy with what we have and, and just instead of trying to get more all the time. Because getting more is, is just going to give us more to be attached to. You know, It's really attachment. The law of attraction is really the teaching of attachment. And if we want to realize peace, we really have to learn detachment. We really have to learn to let things go, to not need, to not want, to not desire. Because desire... Clinging to desire. Having a desire is not a problem. It's when we want a desire. You know, It's when we need a desire to occur for our happiness. And when we think that the grass is going to be greener when we get a new job or when we um, get a new relationship, when we get a new house or a new car, a new dress or a new... I don't know, whatever it is, whatever you want, um, whatever we want, our new guitar, you know, our new drum set. Really, what we need to do is is find out what we actually need to be, uh, to, to do our work, to live peacefully and have enough food and sufficient shelter and ability to get around. And I really think we really need to change our perspective and start looking to the rest of the world and seeing what can I give instead of what can I get? What can I give to the rest of the world instead of what can I attract for myself? And really, there's nothing wrong with making a lot of money. Um, but uh, when it's, I need to have this certain amount of money to retire, or I need to have this certain amount of money to uh, build a nest egg, or to feel secure, or to be happy. I need to be you have a million dollars, and I know a lot of people, and I'm not bashing anybody because I've done it myself. You know, well, if I have a lot of money, then I can give more. The truth is, if you're not giving now, you won't give any money when when you have a lot of money, and it's it's a sad thing because if if that was the case, then you know uh, there would be no hunger. People would be there wouldn't be any starving people in the world. I think uh, we need to focus on giving first. Instead of getting, giving more than, than we get. Not to say that we give everything away so we don't have anything, so that we can't survive. 
but uh, focus on giving and opening our heart to others instead of my, my, mine. I got to get more for me because I'm in b- abundant inside. I think the truth is, you know, that we'll realize uh, that abundance is not about having a lot of things. Abundance is really about peace. It's about being full already. It's about being satisfied and not needing more things on the external level. So I just wanted to make a quick quick video about this um, because I see stuff all the time about the law of attraction. And I'm attracting in a I'm, I'm attracting my greatest expectations and all this thing. And the problem is with all expectations, there's disappointment. So I love you, and I hope that uh, you can be at peace. I send you a wish of meta. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be at peace. And may you be satisfied with what you have. And may you give what you can and what you feel you're able to to others to help this world so that everybody can have sort of level of uh, safety and normalcy and, uh, and just peace and happiness.